Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Alhamdulillah, a question was asked uh, In my country the da'wah of Salafi is minimal and, it, and this saddens me Is there any possibility that I can travel to Saudi Arabia and stay with you for half a month and learn from you? If your schedule does not permit can we at least Skype every consecutive days to learn about the religion intensively? May Allah bless us all and grant us all Jannah. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. First and foremost, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless me to be better than the way that you see me. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and guide us and bless us to be of those who adhere and seek al manafia and may Allah bless us with rizqan tayyibu amalan mutaqabbilan. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat as well. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. First and foremost, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for your kind words. However, it's very important to know, number one, uh, I am not someone you should be traveling to go study with. Uh, and I don't mean this in a, however you want to take it. But the plain and simple, there are many people out there much more knowledgeable than I am. And if you are to travel to study with someone, I would say first learn the Arabic language and go study with the ulama. And with you being in Singapore, as you mentioned, and I won't mention any of the other things that you mentioned, but I, I don't know much about Singapore but, however, I'm sure there's got to be some students of knowledge. And I've met some Salafis in the past, many, many years ago, when I lived in Ha'il, uh, a, a particular uh, Salafi brother. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. But I, I, he wasn't, you know, he was just learning. But I'm sure there's got to be, there has to be some students of knowledge, for one, if you search it out, uh, and, and, and to just learn there. And I'm sure that I, I would think there would be a means to learn Arabic there. So I would say to focus on that. Secondly, you can always learn by the internet. So it's not even necessary to travel, especially if you only have a limited time to travel. Then I would say don't necessarily. Two weeks in a, a month, that's not much to learn somewhere. So I would say if you want to do intensive study, get on the, there's so many just on YouTube alone of Salafi students of knowledge and translated lectures of the scholars that you can, you can do your study that way. So put your intensive study into excellent time management and get down, get your paper and pad and start taking notes and study from those students that have already done a lot of work out there. And if you find some benefit in my lectures, you can also go to the ones that I've explained as far as books. Go to those, study those books, and just devote two weeks of really serious study that way. And that will be much more beneficial for you. Thirdly, if you were to come to Saudi Arabia, if you could come, because it's not easy to come to Saudi Arabia, you'd have to come on an Umrah visa, basically, or a business visa, or if you came as a worker, or as a student. So there isn't... Even with that, they're very restrictive. It's not easy to come to Saudi Arabia. So, uh, I would say if you come for Umrah, then that's a great ni'mah, benefit, and look for opportunities. Fourthly, my schedule does not permit. And I don't have time for a lot of personal communications. That's why even when I try to answer questions that I'm able to answer and things like this, uh, sometimes it may take a long time because I just don't have time to either research or ask. You know, I have so many other projects because my life is not dedicated to dawah like I, I would like it to be. That's not my job. My job here is in education and that's what I have to do. I spend my hours commuting in traffic and going to work with something that's far from Dawa, and in fact sometimes can be against Dawa, some of the things that I have to deal with. Wallahu mista'an. So this busies my mind, stress, all the things that come with that. I have very little time, and I just try to do a little bit of Dawa when I do have some time, or I try to make a little time to do some Dawa, as well as the other projects, as well as preparing myself for the future and for my family. So, uh... 
time is not something that I possess, and I just try to do what I can. And may Allah bless us all with that which is good and protect us from that which is evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with time. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our rizq and our health and bless us to be able to do talib al ilm Because I sure would love to go back and do more talib al ilm continue my studies, and I would like to do more dawah if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permits, and if that be good for me and good for others. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.